Hi there guys, welcome to another video, I'm Harry Bow and today we're going to be talking about the Go XLR and the iMac and how they don't usually go together but how you can actually get it to work. I have actually done another video on this previously, however some new information has come to light, obviously I've used the Go XLR for quite some time now um, and also there are other options as well, so I wanted to discuss them in this video today. We're also going to be talking about how it's wired, um, some different wiring options um, that you can use as well. Um, so lots of advice, a couple of products as well that I might recommend to you that are quite cheap as well, that will do the job. So without further ado, let's get to it, you know the one, let's do this. So just to explain things really quickly, if you didn't already know, the Go XLR obviously is a Windows only device. So that means natively it doesn't really work with um, iMac and, or, or Mac OS at all. In my previous video, what I did was I kind of advised that probably the easiest way you can do this, uh, you can make this work, is by having a second computer. It's important to note that Go XLR doesn't really do any kind of processing on your computer itself all the processing is done on the unit itself however you know stuff like light control some of the settings and stuff like that are saved on your computer so actually once you set up the go xlr which is strange you can actually turn off your computer some of the functions won't work like your mute buttons and stuff like that but literally all the processing is done on the unit so if you've got a cheap second laptop that you never use that's you know maybe even 10 years old something like that and um, but it still runs this will run off that computer what i learned over the past couple of months is that you can use parallels which is an emulator for windows that you can use on your on your mac the only problem is if that you're using an emulator and you're routing the usb which is from that's coming from the go xlr and you route that into windows it means that you stream in audio this actual stream audio the channel that is open from the go xlr you can't run that directly into your stream the same situation goes for the go xlr if you're running on a second computer one way or the other you're going to need to route this audio so there's various obviously everyone's gonna have different setups there's different ways to go about this as well. And there'll also be different pieces of equipment that you might need. All very cheap equipment, however, there'll be different pieces. This situation is going to be the same whether you run two computers or one computer. I've run two myself, so I have the Go XLR and a couple of other programs running on one computer. And then I run my stream from the second computer. Now, even if you're using one computer to stream on and you're also emulating windows on that computer at the same time you will still need to do this broadcasting software i.e obs or streamlabs you'll have no option to channel in the go xlr sound into the stream so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to route the audio from the go xlr itself into the computer that we were we are running the stream from so from the go xlr itself you're going to have a blue port there now that port you will use to that's your line out port anything that's running through the go xlr is going to be playing through this port as long as you've done it correctly in your settings what you will need then is something similar to this here which a link is going to be in the description below for this um this was i believe about six pound and um, which is around seven dollars eight dollars um, and basically because the imac doesn't have its own kind of microphone import and um, this is a microphone in and it's and it's obviously USB C. then what you do is you go into your broadcasting software you would then use the controller i think this is called like audio controller USB-C, I think that's its actual name. It'll have a similar name to that, and you can just pipe in your audio straight into your stream. Now, if you were a gamer, and I'm has going to hazard a guess, the kind of person that would usually go for the Go XLR, the chances are quite high 
that they are going to be using, you know, a console or something similar um, to stream with, you know. So if you have got a capture card, mine has got, mine's an Elgato HD60S Plus. Um, the HD60S Plus has a built-in line in port. So rather than use this, so what you do in this situation is you would go from the blue port on the Go XLR into the line in on your Elgato capture card or whatever capture card you've got if that capture card has got a line in you would then need to go into your settings now this is important you would then need to go into your settings on your capture card software and change the audio input usually the game audio and everything is captured directly through the capture card if you put a line in into the device it doesn't automatically switch over to the line in Another thing that you'll have to do if you do this is use an optical cable from your Xbox to your Go XLR. Most people will do that anyway, one of which is in my description below. Now, I hope I've um, been able to help everyone out here that's come and kind of looking for this video. Some of the kind of stuff that I've talked about in this video today is all based on kind of some of the other stuff from my previous video, some of the other comments and stuff like that. If you do feel like I missed anything out, please let me know um, and I'll get right back to you in the comment section. Um, also, if you're into Twitch or, you know, TikTok or any of them other things, um, my stuff's, all my stuff's in the description below. Um, uh, so happy days. Thank you very much for listening to this video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care for now.